Heyman's room. Uh, so this is week 35 and the topic is intersex. I don't know so much what I'm going to say, so I'm just going to give it a try. The question is, are you an intersex advocate uh, slash activist? Uh, first of all, of course, I've heard about intersex um, a long, long time ago. Um, I would like to know more about it, actually. Um, I don't I don't find that I'm quite the intersex advocate or activist. And um, I'm, I'm still learning. I tell people a lot about what I know uh, about intersex try to create some awareness uh, around it. Uh, just the fact that there is uh, 8,000 kids being born into sex in the UK a year, um, which no one knows, uh, it's quite, it's quite crazy. And just telling that to people, it is only a matter of counting on your fingers that you can tell how many people are, are born into sex in Denmark then. Uh, there are no, as I know, officially published numbers about intersex and how many intersex uh, people uh, or babies that are born in Denmark, but I reckon there are many. I don't think um, it's the right thing to do that the doctors um, more or less forces the parents to to choose to operate on on the children, on the babies. Uh, I think it's wrong. Uh, I think it's very wrong indeed. I think it's like it's a it's a great secret of society that there are actually more than the two binary uh, sexes. And it needs to get out there. People are always using the binary sexes as a reason for why uh, for why, like, why transsexuality or gender queerness or um, homosexuality, for that sake, is not natural. There are these two um, articles that we were asked to look at and talk about, uh, and the question is what our uh, what are our opinions uh, and ideas about these two news stories. I'll put the links up for them. The first one is a baby, an intersex baby, uh, born in India and uh, the parents uh, don't have the money to pay for the surgery that the doctors uh, are, are are uh, advising them to do. It's, it's also a shout out to for people to help with money so the kid can get uh, surgery. I think it's crazy. Like it's written how uh, the the child is perfectly fine, how the child is not ill at all, and how everything is just well, but that it has the intersex um, disease or something like that. And there, there it is again, that just like making people sick without that they are like just because of they're not normal or whatever, they're different sex or gender. Um, it's very wrong and I think that um, the best thing to do is to just let the kid decide when it gets older uh, if if they want to be either or both or everything or nothing. How are we ever going to change anything about gender and sex and, and our rights and people's understanding if we are just deciding for babies what sex or gender they should have less that's scary the other article is about two cousins that lives in, in Gaza in Palestine and um, 
they are both uh, born into sex, but um, brought up brought up as girls, and then turn when they turned older, both of them wanted to transition to being guys, um, which they have done, um, but not by surgery yet, and they're trying to to get the to, to get uh, the surgery paid because uh, they can't afford them themselves, and right now they're stuck because they're not really allowed to to finish the education and stuff like that because they don't really fit in. Many in their family has what they call that condition uh, being intersex and all of them I think have to transitioned into being guys said uh, that it's because of people marrying their cousins um, that it stays in within the family. Um, many ways apparently can lead to different genders and different sex like, as always i think people should do what they what they need to do what's right for them and no one else should decide whether you are a man or a woman or nothing or both or a third thing or a fourth thing or gender fuck or gender queer whatever you can only decide yourself like um, no one else should, not even if you're a baby, that's just mean. Um, thank you for watching, I haven't really talked so much about this topic with my friends and stuff before, not so much as other things, so I don't have like a fully rounded, ready to go uh, opinion and take on the subject, so I hope that, um, I hope that makes sense. Tell me what you think, because um, it's important. It it really is. Not many people know about intersex, and uh, especially not here where I live. Uh, I don't know. I can't tell about all all the places in the world, but here it's not anything people are aware of. Thanks for watching, um, subscribe and rate and comment. Next week's topic is uh, feminism and I'm really looking forward to talk about that. So stay tuned and talk to you soon.